I just want to show the lab number two and how it worked. I didn't get to show that in my other video. I didn't get to show it actually connected to a controller and how the logic actually works. If you were using the real controller, uh, there is a way to force the uh, inputs on. Um, I have to, you may not have figured that out. I'll have to show that still to you. Um, I don't have a real controller with me. I have, so what I'm going to use right now is the simulator. And the simulator uh, is built into Studio or into CCW software. And uh, we can actually just create a simulator project and and uh, do, do the same stuff in the simulator. Um, so this is, of course, the logic from the project. And this is the simulator. So it's a separate window here. I had to open it and I had to turn it on. And then I was able to download my logic into the simulator. So just like the micro H20, you know, we have a row of inputs up top and we have a row of outputs on the bottom. Now the simulator uses the micro 850 controller, which is a larger controller. So there are more inputs and more outputs on this particular unit. Um, so, but basically the numbering is the same. This is IOEMDI00. This is IOEMDO00. So we we'll start with the same numbering. So here's the logic and I have my start switch and I have my stop switch and I have my pump start and then I have my pump start working as the latch. And then I also have a contact from the pump start here that will turn on the pump running indicator. So I am connected online and connected to the simulator. And this would be the same exact look and feel if you were connected to the real controller. The, the background turns yellow. That's a default color, which you can change. And my contact here is showing as red and some are showing as blue. So when it's showing as red, it basically means that it is uh, what we will term use the term passing power, even though it's digital and, and it's you know there's no power so so to speak. Um, we we or another term you might hear in the umbrella world especially is examine when off and examine when on. Um, X I O. Um, so sometimes you'll see examine when off and uh, examine when on. But um, anyway, the the point of this is that when it's red, consider that state as on or a one and passing power onto the next part of the rung. So this is true basically right now and would satisfy this this circuit whenever one of these two things became true. Now, the cool thing about the simulator is uh, this is an actual input, the IOEMDI00 start switch. This is an output. So I can force the input on for testing. To do that, I can simply click on the input on the simulator. So when I clicked on 00, that turned orange. It also turned orange here on the face, which would happen on the real controller. That would light up. And then you also wound up getting two oranges on the outputs. So 00 and 01 both turned orange and their two indicator lights turned orange as well. And up in the logic, you can see everything turned red. The start switch is on. The pump start contact is on because the relay here is picked up. And then of course, uh, the same contact is used here in this rung and it is also turning on the pump running. Now, what we talked about was that, you know, our, our push buttons are typically momentary. So what's going to happen is I, I would have actually just pressed this and I would, uh, then I would undo it. When I undo this, you can see this went back to blue, which means this is not passing power anymore, but I still have my latch path, my latched in path around this switch or this push button using the pump start coil. So I still have a path through the stop button to the pump start. So my two outputs stayed on, even though I no longer had my input. 
Then the way we break the latch was to change the state of the stop switch. And that is tied to IO EM DI01. So I'm going to basically simulate pushing the stop button by clicking on the stop. Now when I do that, we broke power. We broke power to the pump start. So that dropped out the coil. It dropped out the second rungs coil. We turned off our two outputs. Our two indicator lights went out. And then I let my finger off the stop switch and everything stayed off, which was the key here, was we wanted everything, we wanted the pump to turn off and stay off until an operator comes back and presses the on button. When the operator presses the on button, then we turn the pump back on again. It stays running until I press the stop button. Okay, so that's how we can test our logic. We can see it executing right here on the screen. We could use a simulator, we can use the real controller, but the key is we want to be able to actually look at the logic and look at all these, you know, the, the elements changing their colors and, and seeing how the, the program and the logic actually works.